Yesterday afternoon started off like any typical Thursday afternoon for me. Have a quick lunch, come back down to my office and get ready to prepare for some coaching. And that's when it happened. I looked at my list of all the tasks I had to do. And my mind went blank. What the hell do I do next? And I just sat there paralyzed. What do you do when that happens to you? Fortunately, within 30 minutes, I got a phone call from a friend of mine, Cheryl. We started a good conversation and she inspired me to do something I hadn't done in a long time. In fact, ever. <laughs> I went over to my whiteboard and I listed everything that I have to do. Well, I say I have to do. You ever have a case of the I have tos? I wrote down everything on my calendar, on my task list, on my, it was triggered by my emails, everything, because what she had suggested was get it out of your head. The same advice I give people when I'm telling them to prepare a speech or a story, get it all out of your head, get it on paper so you can work with it. Well, sometimes it's good to follow your own advice. So I did that. And this is what it looks like. There are 49 items listed here. And I know this isn't the entire list. This was a starting point. I didn't do any more work yesterday. I was just shut down. I had no more energy. It wasn't a lack of motivation. I just didn't have it in me to do anything more. So I slept on it. And I believe this list worked on my subconscious because when I got up this morning, I created a second list. I broke down into categories each of the areas that I need to focus on in my business. And there are 10. And the list grew from 49 to 72. And it looks like this. Now, why am I sharing this with you? Because I know there's nothing special about me. I'm not the only person feeling overwhelmed, bombarded by so many have-tos that I don't know what to do next. Here's where this is helping me. I can already see it within a day. It's getting it out of my head, getting it out of my emotions for a moment and being able to look at the big picture. What I now have is a third list and this one's going to take time. The first two probably took about 15 to 20 minutes each. This next one is where I have to do a deep dive, but this is what's going to help me more than anything. And that is to break out. What is it that I absolutely must do myself? What can I hand off to my virtual assistant? What can I teach then hand off to my virtual assistant? And what can I hire out? This one's going to take some work, but I already feel a lot better. I feel a lot less pressure and stress. I know what I'm going to do today is planning. Friday has become a planning day for me. Now I know what to plan. So I'll break each of these down into what can I do? What can I hand off? What can I teach someone else to hand off? Or what do I just have to hire out? I don't care what the cost is at this point because my emotions in time are more valuable than that money. So hopefully this has helped give you some ideas. If you're feeling stressed out, you've got this list, you're overwhelmed, you're shutting down, do what I did. Get it out of your head. Get it on a whiteboard, get it on a spreadsheet, whatever. I hope this helps you. The next time you take a look at your list and you feel like, what the hell do I do next? Now you have an answer.